Hi, I am Yvonne and I make videos about my life in China. This year marks my 10th year of living in China. And because of that, I am making a special series. This is the fourth episode and if you would like to see the previous episodes, check out the links in the description box below. In this episode, I will be sharing 10 reasons why I love working in education in China so much. We are starting the list with number 10, local and international staff. Regardless of what kind of school you'll be working at, you will have the chance to work with local staff. This is a great opportunity as you will be able to learn more about the work culture and ask lots of questions. I've had the chance to work with many Chinese and also with international staff. I have worked with people from the United States, South Africa, the Philippines, Canada and many more. This has given me the opportunity to learn from educators from all over the world. People have different perspectives on education and working in a diverse team will give you the chance to broaden your view as well as experience different ways of approaching the various aspects of education. One great aspect of working with local staff is the opportunity to learn the language, which brings us to number nine on the list. There are many schools you could work for, from training schools to universities or private schools. Most schools will offer Chinese classes to their foreign staff, which will give you the chance to learn the language. When I was working in Shenyang, I had the chance to go to the Chinese classes for foreign students, and those lessons really helped me to build a strong foundation for my Chinese. Now, eight years later, I still get to learn and practice the language on a daily basis when working with my Chinese colleagues at my school. I really consider speaking the language as a benefit, as it really helps me to build strong relationships with my co-workers and work closely with them. Working in an international environment and learning new languages brings us to number eight, different opportunities. Many people start working as a teacher when they first come to China, but they might only do that for a short while before they move on to another position. A lot of people often move up into the company where they work and leave the classroom to take on a leadership role. Other people use their years of teaching as a stepping stone into other fields. There are many people I know who used to work as an English teacher but are now working for companies doing something they went to school for or they truly love doing. My husband is a good example. He started working as a teacher and became a marketing manager for a company after a few years. Coming in at number seven, we slow it down with flexible schedules. Depending on the kind of school you are working at, you might have a light schedule and a lot of free time. When I was teaching at a university, I had a very light schedule and I only taught about 10 classes per week. This allowed me to go to the Chinese classes and explore the city. The training school I worked at when I first arrived in China was nothing like that. They required me to be there for a full day even on the days I only had a few classes. What did I do all day? Well, the owner wanted me to spend all my time on lesson planning and practice the lessons multiple times before the students would be there. It was a waste of time, but each school will be different, which means you could have a very flexible workload. Earlier in the list, I mentioned staff and opportunities, and those two lead us to the number six on the list, skills. When you come to China to work in education, you will be learning a lot of new skills that will benefit you for the rest of your life. You will not only gain ESL teaching experience, but you will also develop the skills that are needed to work with a mixed group of people. You will learn to adapt to a new and different culture, as well as to sudden changes, speaking in front of large groups. If you work at a public school, your classes can have up to 40 students and to improvise because you are asked to present a show that is about to start in two hours. You will develop many skills when working in such a diverse environment and that can translate to work opportunities in the future. Continuing on with the theme of colleagues brings us to number five on my list of reasons why I have been working in China for 10 years. At number five we find teaching assistants. If you start working at an international school there is a high chance you will have a teaching assistant in your classroom it's an absolute luxury that very few teachers will get to experience in the field of education. In the Netherlands, I've never had a teaching assistant. I was responsible for a class of at least 25 students on my own. When I hear my friends back in the Netherlands talk about their kindergarten classes with over 30 students and they tell me they have to take care of their students all on their own, my mouth falls open as I can't even imagine what that is like. 
Teachers at my school always talk about how helpful it is to have assistance in the classroom. Enough about work, let's move on to number four, vacation time. This is somewhat of a sensitive topic because people often get involved in discussions about the amount of vacation time teachers get. Here in China, you get a lot of vacation time, especially when working at an international school. Summer vacations are long and you get to enjoy both Chinese and Western holidays, like National Week, Chinese New Year, Labor Day, Christmas and more. Keep in mind though that not all schools will give you this much time off. But also remember that you can always discuss these things when you are negotiating your contract. We have entered the top three of reasons why I have enjoyed working and teaching in China for 10 years. Let me know if any of these reasons I've mentioned so far would make you consider coming to China and work here. At number three, we find class sizes. I mentioned class sizes briefly when I was talking about teaching assistants. But for most teachers, this has been a big reason why they have liked working in China so much. Like I said, classes can get large in the Netherlands, but also in other countries. A class can easily have anywhere between 25 to 40 students. That's a lot of students. To be honest though, when you teach English at a public school here in China, you have a high chance of also having this many students in your class. But if you work at a training center or at an international school, you'll have smaller class sizes. Classes at international schools can vary between 15 to 20 students. Studies have proven that smaller class sizes benefit both students and teachers. This is a big plus for teachers at international schools in China. Number two on my list might be a little surprising and I'm sure people are going to disagree, but if I'm looking at my personal experiences, I can absolutely say that parents and students here are important reasons working in China is nice. Yes, sometimes students will consider their English classes as free time, especially when you're working at a public school. But generally, students are well behaved, kind and happy to learn and play with you although parents can have really high expectations for their children. Once you've been able to build a relationship with them, it's usually easy and pleasant to work with them. As education is so important, it is generally quite easy to get parents on board and they will do most of the things that you suggest. This can be very different in other countries, where school is seen as a waste of time or students can be disrespectful to teachers. I have read so many horror stories of bad parents or students that have broken good teachers. In China, this can happen too, but most students and parents are respectful to teachers. If you are still here, give this video a like. We have made it to the number one on my list of reasons why I like working in education so much. But before I'm going to reveal my number one, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel if you want to see the rest of the episodes. In my next episode, I'm going to share the 10 best places I have traveled to in China so far. I love traveling and if you like travel as much as I do, make sure to subscribe so you won't miss an episode. But let's go to number one. My number one reason I enjoy working in education in China probably won't be a surprise. It's benefits and pay. The benefits and pay can be great here, especially when you work in an international school. Compared to other countries, like for me, the Netherlands, the pay can be up to two to three times as much. Whether you work at an international school, training school or university, pay is usually good and I know lots of people who are able to save a lot of money or go on a lot of trips during the holidays. I know of many people who make a lot more money here than they would do in their home country. Benefits can be great too. Many schools will offer you a flight home, housing allowance, insurance and more. Foreign staff gets paid well and that is one of the reasons why I have been able to travel in China and around the world so much. I'm truly grateful for my amazing life here and for all the opportunities China has provided me so far. And with the number one down, we're at the end of the video. If you want to see the reasons why I love living in China, click here. Or if you want to see my favorite Chinese dishes, click here. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.